clever. <laughs> Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. You look like you have a pretty successful farm here. We'd like to think so. Having Clarabelle helps. Free fertilizer, as Daddy would say. Whatever saves caps. Clarabelle? Who, who's that? Claire is our Brahmin. I like to consider her just as much a part of the family as Maisie. She's our cat, in case you were going to ask about her too. Sure. I got time to help out. Great. Doesn't have to be now, but whenever you get the time. Excuse me. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. You have anything to trade? You look in the trade, you can talk to my wife. She's up by the house. But be warned, you try anything, you're asking for a fight. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far. But we're starting on melons. Blake Abernathy. You new to the Commonwealth? How long has this farm been here? Generations, I'd say. My father, and his father at least. How about you? Ever think about working the land? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor. And you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't, ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the Raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Bastards. All of them. Last time those Raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Minutemen? So you know them then. You mean Preston Darby's crew? Any idea why they haven't been around so much lately? He's over in Sanctuary, trying to rebuild the Minutemen. You don't say. That's close by. If he'd only been there earlier, Mary may still be alive. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Uh, do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station. Miss Abernathy. Here to collect the caps for the... <clears throat> New here? Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. What have you got? It ain't a lot, but I've got a few basic supplies. Ammo, meds, that sort of thing. Ammo and meds? 
What kind of basic supplies are those? Very basic. You want to survive out here? You need ammo and meds. So, you up for a trade or not? Sounds good. How is the trade with Diamond City? Good, when my husband actually gets around to doing it. That is, if no one raids the farm first. Why do you think I'm selling ammo and meds? You can't protect yourself? The Commonwealth will swallow you right up. Can't say I've been to Diamond City yet. Biggest city in the Commonwealth. Anything you need? Anything you want to know? That's the place to start. I don't think so. Great. Maybe next time you can get right to the point instead of wasting my time. Sad, this level of technology is like a lost art. If I may, sir, something about this place looks a tad unsafe. Just 
level of darkness entirely unnecessary. Won't be able to hack this. Sign of them now. Two hundred years ago, I never would have thought this level of dust.
I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. At least we can do. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. Hey. Blake told me what you did for us. For Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. How are you holding up? Thanks to you. Better. Mary was a good kid. She had fire in her. I can't tell you how many arguments we had. <laughs> that girl hated rules, and believe me, I had plenty. Do you regret it? All the rules? I'd say sure, but who knows? Without those rules, maybe something worse happens. The only thing I regret is not being able to save her. We knew the risks of having kids these days. And we took them. But it was worth it. I won't argue that. Anyway, enough. I'm sure you got plenty of your own thoughts to deal with rather than listen to mine. But like I said, if you need something, just let me know. It's not every day a stranger comes along and helps us out the way you did. That'd be great. <laughs>